In this video, you'll be learning how to merge PDFs with basically any document or image file type. So if you had a bunch of images, for example, you could combine those into one single PDF file. I'll be following an example using our software product called Content Snare, which is a way to collect files and information from clients. So a typical example with Content Snare is like a lawyer or accountant who's requesting a bunch of documents from one of their clients. Maybe that client's not so tech savvy, so they just take a bunch of photos of documents and upload them into our portal. Now this would apply to any kind of form or way of gathering information. You know, if, if they're sending a bunch of photos because they're you know, not that tech savvy, or even maybe they are uploading a bunch of PDFs as you want them, but you want to just combine all of those into one PDF to store in, you know, your document management or wherever you're storing that file. So whether it's images, PDFs, Word docs, whatever, we're going to whack that all together into one single PDF. Before we dig in, if you would like to learn how to automate different parts of your business and get more productive, please hit that subscribe button below uh, to get notified when I release new content. We'll be using PDF.co. They do a lot of different stuff with PDFs, as you can see here. So like converting anything to PDFs like we need here for images to PDFs, um, you know, e-signatures, document passing. There's lots of different stuff here. I guess it's worth a quick mention that in this video, uh, we're just going to be taking the raw images and, and sticking them on a PDF. If you de do need to convert those documents and pull information out of them, like get the actual text off those images, you need to go a little bit further and look at document passing instead. And there's other tools that can help you with this as well. But we're just going to go pretty basic here just so you can see uh, how this works. If we look at their API documentation, you can see uh, like a better list of all the different things you can do, like PDF to different types of files and merging and, and all kinds of stuff. And I'll provide a link to this in the description below. But the one we need here is the PDF merger. And you can see that this accepts different types of document files as well as images. And there's not many tools that will do the merge with lots of different types of files in one action in Zapier uh, in a cost-effective way. There are other tools out there where you can, you know, go through and individually convert one file at a time and then combine them all into a PDF. Uh, but PDF.co is probably the most cost-effective way I've found of doing it. Um, and on that note, the way they price is based on a number of credits. So if you, for 10 bucks a month, you get 16 and a half thousand credits, but um, a credit doesn't mean like converting one document. In this case, um, the merge that we're using, so merge two uses 35 credits per page. And so currently that means it's around about two cents, two US cents per page if you do the math using a 9.99 for 16 and a half thousand credits. So it gets more cost effective if you're on bigger plans, but on this basic plan, yeah, it's about two cents per page if you're using 35 credits per page. So that can add up, but also it's probably gonna save you a lot of time if you need this workflow. So I think probably worth it. So let's have a look on how you set this up. As you can see, this is a really simple workflow. And again, we're going to look at Content Snare for this example. Um, so the way this works in Content Snare, each one of these is a document request. We have you know, maybe requested four documents in one of these requests. And when that's complete, we want to send a message over to Zapier to say, hey, we've got everything we need. Can you now combine all these PDFs? So the first step is to create a trigger in Zapier. We're going to use the app webhooks by Zapier and the event catch raw hook. Now this is just so we can get the raw data out of Content Snare. Once you've set that up, it'll go to this screen and you'll find this URL here. So just hit copy on that and then head over into your Content Snare account. We're going to go to settings, down to webhooks, and you're going to add a new webhook with the URL. So you just click on add a new webhook and we want this to trigger when a request is completed. So you just paste that URL in there, as you can see, I've already done, and then hit save down the bottom. But since I've already done that, I'm just going to click here, click test, request webhooks and request completed. So this will send an example message over to Zapier so you can complete the rest of the steps. So once you hit that, jump back over to Zapier and there should be something here that says waiting for new records, it'll be look a bit different because I've already set this up. But um, if you've already done it to this point, you can just click find new records and it'll sit there waiting until um, it catches that webhook that we just sent across from Content Snare. So that'll appear in here. You'll be able to select that request. It's probably going to be called request A on your screen. 
uh, and then we can continue on to the next step. We want an action with the app code by Zapier and we're going to run JavaScript. In the input data, stick the word data in here and then select the item called raw body that comes from the webhook above. And then just paste in this code, which I will put in the video description or just under the video. Uh, this is essentially gonna go through all of the data that comes directly out of that content snare webhook. It's gonna pull out some information like the request ID and name and a bunch of other information. And then it goes through every single question that was in your form or your request in content snare and looks for anything that's a file that a client has uploaded to content snare. And then it will create a comma separated list of all those files. Now, if you are not able to follow that, maybe you're not technical, totally fine. Just copy and paste this code directly in. You just set up this piece, insert the raw body and then copy that code in and everything will just work. You go continue uh, and then just hit test and everything should be okay. The final step then is to do the PDF merge. So this is where you will create an action with the app pdf.co, choose PDF merger as the event, obviously connect your account. Now, when you connect your account, you're going to need an API key from your pdf.co account. You'll find that uh, on your homepage. So if you just go to the dashboard in pdf.co, the API key is here. You'll just hit copy and you'll paste that straight in here. It's pretty easy. Um, but once you've connected your account, uh, this is the setup you're going to want. So you map in if you open the run JavaScript step here, find files and just map that straight in. So click that and it'll look like this and make sure you change this automatically convert non PDF files, turn that to true. Decide what the file name is going to be. So I've just decided I want this to be the request name from Content Snare. Uh, you could make this the client name if you like or a combination of things. Uh, but yeah, so I just use the request name as the file name and then you can go ahead and test. Once you've tested, you'll see a URL that looks like this. And if you just copy and paste that into the browser, you get something like this. So in my test, I put up two different images, which were just images of Zapier screenshots, as you can see here, and it's created a PDF of those two images. So that's pretty handy. The last step is really going to depend on where you store documents, your client documents. So let's say it's Google Drive. You're just going to add a step in here for Google Drive you'll choose the upload file action and then just decide where you want to store that file. So once you've chosen your account, this is like setting up any other Google Drive workflow that you've set up before. You'll have to just basically choose where in Google you want this to go. So I'm just going to say my Google Drive in the top level folder and we're just going to say here is the file we want to upload. That's it. Once you test that step, that'll push that file over into Google Drive. When you're finished, you'll be able to publish this workflow. And then every time a content snare request is completed, it'll run that code to pull out all the files, merge them all uh, into a PDF, and then upload that to Google Drive. I hope this has been helpful. If so, please hit that like button below. And if you're using a different tool to collect files or documents, just let me know in the comments and maybe I can do a follow-up video on how you would adjust this Zapier workflow uh, to make that work. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more content on how to automate your business and get more productive. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare. I'll see you in the next video.